Hello and welcome to another episode of Laravel Tips, Tricks and Packages, a useful video series where I show you some of the features and packages that you can use within Laravel. So as you're probably aware now with Laravel 8, they have a new authentication system called Jetstream. And I will have a course up and coming about Jetstream, so if you are interested in that, make sure you subscribe so you get the notifications when I do release that course. But for now, a lot of people have been asking if they do have to use Jetstream or can they use the old Laravel UI package. Now the Laravel team do recommend you don't use this package anymore, so I wouldn't rely on it because they're probably going to remove it at some point in the future. But thankfully somebody in the community has stepped up and fought this project and they're now maintaining it. So this will provide the original scaffolding for either Bootstrap, Vue or React in the Laravel 8 project just in the same way that it did for the Laravel 7 version. So let's take a look at this and how to get it installed. So if we just take a quick look at the folder structure now of a Laravel 8 fresh project. Under resources views you can see all we have is the welcome one and under app HTTP controllers we only have a single controller. So over in the root of our Laravel 8 project let's install that Laravel UI package. So to do that, we do a composer require and we want to require Roger Villa forward slash Laravel hyphen legacy hyphen UI. Let's just run a PHP artisan again and you'll see we have some new commands down here under UI. It gives us the option to build the authentication scaffolding for controllers and also for the views and routes. But we can also tag on the or flag on the end of the standard artisan UI command that will scaffold this out for us. Let's take a look at this. So we can do a PHP artisan and then we call UI and then we can call the UI scaffolding that we want to use. So like I said, it's got the bootstrap, Vue.js and the React.js scaffolding just like the original Laravel package did and there might be more in the future. So I'll pop a link in the description to this package's GitHub page. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use Bootstrap because that's all I need for this. So I'm going to call Bootstrap. And then on the end, I can pass in hyphen hyphen auth. And then this will generate all the scaffolding that's needed as well. So let's just run this. I can see there it's created the scaffolding for us. Now let's just have a quick look at the project. And now if we come under resources, views, we can now see we have our auth folder with all of our authentication screens just like we used to in the older versions of Laravel. And under app, HTTP, controllers, we now have all our auth controllers in there just like we would within Laravel 7. And then one final thing to note if we have a look at our roots file under roots web, normally under the old system we would have had a macro here for all of the authentication roots. But well, this package puts the roots in individually for us. And you can see here it's actually using the new Laravel 8 format. So this package is ready to go with Laravel 8. So before we install and build our front end assets that Bootstrap needs, we need to make a change to the mix file. So under the root of the project, if you come down to our webpack.mix.js file, we need to make a few changes here. But we can actually just leave the JS, that's absolutely fine. But we need to change this post CSS command. So instead of post CSS, we can we need to call SAS. And then inside of there we want to build from our resources folder SAS forward slash app dot s c s s. And then finally we want to output it to public forward slash CSS. So this bit of code probably no surprise to you if you use an earlier version of Laravel, because it's exactly the same as it originally was. I'm oh, sorry just realize I typed that in really small so I'll just expand it here so you get a better look at it if you copy in the text directly from the video. So now we have that we can do an npm install and then give it the double ampersand npm run dev. Now if you're on a Windows system this doesn't always work so if you do get an error doing this ampersand command don't worry about it just run npm install and npm run dev separately. So this will install some extra packages that Mix needed, things like the SAS compiler. So we just need to run the dev build again. So we can do 
npm run dev and that'll build the front end assets for us. So over in our Laravel 8 project now, if we just click the login link, you can see that takes us to the login page with the original bootstrap styling that you're probably all used to with the earlier Laravel projects. And the same goes for the registration page. So if you are following on with this video, don't forget you need to migrate your database as well so you get the user table before all this will actually work.